in China during the Song Dynasty, a single golden statue was cast for the use of the emperor. It indicated seven forbidden acupuncture points. Used in correct sequence, they brought about extraordinary sexual vigor and youth. Used incorrectly, they brought instant and painful death. Stolen, hidden, lost and rediscovered through the centuries, the statue has come to be known as the Golden Needles of Ecstasy.
Beautiful as they say. He said, "Of course, it's very beautiful." Not beautiful, it's a problem. But who can get it first? It's not a matter of beauty. It's a matter of power. 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 We've come to believe that it's priceless. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, here's the $75,000 that the balance of our payment is arranged. We must rearrange it. Listen, where I come from in Ohio, when somebody pays you $25,000 down and $75,000 on delivery, honey, that's priceless. Uh, $250,000. Two hundred... Two hundred... You're insane! Would you tell him he's insane? He... Uh... He said you were in trouble. Stop it. Oh, Jesus. You don't have to tell him he's insane. He already knows. Powerful men in Hong Kong, Lin Tao. Did you know that? And I know one or two. Get the damn statue. He wants two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for it. See, now I'm convinced that it is authentic. Quan, I don't have two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It wouldn't matter. He would not sell it to you. Yeah, you're starting to sound just like Lin To. He was saying how it was priceless. It is. Quan. See, I'm in too deep. I owe too much. 
and my employer isn't going to believe one word of this, and my employer makes Lin To look like Alice in Wonderland. Quan, look, I've got to get that statue, and I've got to get it fast. There's only one man that I know in Hong Kong who could get in and out of Lin To's office alive. Who is he, Quan? He's my partner. <laughs> If I see his face, I know it. I'm gonna lose. Fong Fan! Put it back! Come on. She gone? Mm -hmm. Okay. For God and country. What? Ah, oh, boy! You want it, darling? I feel like messing around a little bit later in the afternoon. It's awful, brother. I'll get you Have a drink. What do you have? Champagne. <sighs> well, I just, I just lost my champagne money. I'll have a beer. Beer. You got it. Come, come. <laughs> Want your fortune told? Oh, Juan, no. Fortune tellers make me nervous. It would be a good idea. It is better if I'm alone with him. You can join us later. All right, Juan. Anything you say, but get him. Yes, I'll try. Well, I can't believe what you're asking me to do. You know I retired from all that crap. I have no closer friend in the world. Look, I'll do it for you. You know that. But I got a feeling you're not telling me the whole story. I know you, old man. You know what they'll do to me if they catch me in there? I knew I was wrong to ask you this. It is just that I felt an obligation. She has been cheated. I think there's a lady looking for you. I. How did you know? Just a wild guess. Miss Jutworth, 
done Mason. I don't get up. I'll come down. I told her you might not do this. It's too dangerous. There's nothing any good in this world that isn't too dangerous. Hmm. Isn't that what my mama used to say? And what'd your mama used to tell you? Well, she used to say, uh, wear your galoshes. Stay out of trouble. Well, I've been staying out of trouble lately, and it's real nice. What do you want? Hmm. She used to hold my hand. She said, don't worry, darling. Mommy's here. There's $25,000 coming to Quan. I can add five more. That makes 30. She used to hug me a lot, too. You say everything's all right. I love you. Look. I'm begging. Hmm? Do you like ladies begging? What do you want? You got it. Yeah. And 30,000 American dollars, too? That must be one bell ringer of a statue. When's the last time that you hugged somebody and said, I love you? A long time ago. Do it. Here? Now? Right in the middle of it all. That's not a hug, it's a nothing. Now, say, I love you, or I don't go. I love you. I love you. It's not bad. Clean up my act.
These are needles. I get so. How are you going to ship it to L.A., Quan? Your employer will receive it in Los Angeles as promised. If you will wait here for just a few moments, I need Dan. Then he can take you home. I'm not going to take you home. Mister, definitely. Hey. Not only that. Thank you. is done. Now mine begins. The jar will be shaped and fired around the statue and filled with oil, just like the others. I'll work all night, and it'll be shipped to Jeff in Los Angeles before morning. Is that all you want to tell me, partner? No, it's not all I want to say. Please, forgive me. That's okay. It's okay. Conversation circle. So talk to me. Hello.
thought you ordered a shrimp cocktail. Did you look at that? All right. I don't believe that. You have an American friend named Dan Mason? Where is he? Uh, who? He doesn't know who he is. did you say? Well, what does he look like? Turn around. Come on. All the way around. That's nice. You're beautiful. You're really beautiful. You could. Please, speak softly. Uh, I don't know where he is, your cluckhead. He doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> Listy. 
este. Let's stay. Where the hell are you? Take care of yourself. You're going to be all right. I'm going to get you to a hospital. Go on. Go on. The last words he spoke were about you. He asked me to take care of you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take care of you, Lotus. No, I mean it. I'm going to continue Quan's business, and I'm going to make a lot of money. And you can bet on it.
for safe man. You want some champagne? Why are you always getting in fights? Everybody from Jersey City gets into fights. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna hop a plane over to L.A. and see our buddy Jeff. You got any regards? Tell him he owes me 80 bucks at 18% interest for two years. You're never gonna get it. <laughs> they hurt you, didn't they? Yeah, they hurt me. Why'd they do it to you? I don't know. I just don't know. They thought I knew what you was up to. I tried to tell them you don't even know what you're up to. What are you up to, Danny? I don't know. I guess I'm just a Hong Kong whore. I'll see you, Fancy. Danny, don't ever come back here, hmm? Make some sense out of your life the way Jeff did. Be smart. One time. I'll be back. to know you, Mr. Mason. Uh, hi. You want to tell me who you are? No. But I'll tell you what I know. Are you familiar with uh, acupuncture? Sure. Yeah, well, a little. But aren't you going to tell me who you are? No. But I'll tell you where I'm going. Los Angeles. With you. Oh. I have a ticket on the 11 o'clock plane, and I'm sitting next to you. We're going to my car, huh? Do you mind? Oh, no, lady, no. Hop in. Centuries ago, a warrior found that if they were pierced by arrows in certain areas of their body, they felt much better than ever before. Medical men kept records of these puncture points. The statue is the key to the proper use of the needles. Its obvious great value has brought with it a violent and bloody history. She belongs to my government. Ah, uh, so you are a cop, uh huh? That statue belongs to anybody who possesses it, if I understand your history correctly. My government is very adamant about this matter. We shall match any amount of money that is offered to you. Any amount? That's a deal. I shall see you at your hotel this afternoon. Oh, man, I wouldn't believe it, man. You let one get away. What was she, too small? Oh, I didn't let her get away. I just, uh, saving her for lunch. 
No, 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 no. You're just getting old and soft. Look at that belly. The hell are you talking about what belly? That belly. It's been bad, huh? Yeah. I love that old man. So did I. Ever since those first days, when the war was over, we got to Hong Kong. He was the one. He taught me more about antiques and the antique business than anybody in this country knows. Antiques are the best kind game in this world. You're a natural. Which reminds me, I've got some news about the antique business. Yeah, what? There was a little bit of a robbery on those crates you sent. What? Oh, they didn't get away with it. They just tried to. But they really made a mess of it. Oh, yeah? What about those jars of oil? They busted one of them. I sent the other two out. What was in there when they busted? Oh, well, what else? You sent those other two out? Of course. Why not? Why not? Now, ever since we've been kids, you've been asking, why not? You just never changed, do you? <clears throat> Will somebody please close the door? I can feel a draft. Who's that? I think it's the time <laughs> What are you doing in my bathroom, huh? Hey, where's my money? Hi. I'm in your bathtub because I was waiting for you and I got bored. I've always been able to handle boredom much easier in a bathtub. Dan, I'm sorry I disappeared. I had to. There was no way of explaining it. But I've got your money or I wouldn't be here, would I? Where is it? It's at Winters. That's one of the places we sent the jars. Right, and he got the jars and he wants to pay himself. How did she disappear from you, Dan? I was sleeping like a baby. I told you you were getting old. I know. He's not getting old, he's getting new. He's getting brand new. You better believe it. Oh, come on, Dan. I couldn't help it. I had to. I believe her. Would you please get me a towel? I'm not going to do anything that might distract me. I'm just going to sit here and watching you and looking at you and, until I get my money. This way through the garden, it's quicker. To your right, down the hallway to the library. You know, I think this man has some money. Yeah, I agree. Jar number two? Yep. Yeah. But where are all the people? Oh, shit! Oh. <gasps> Dan, what is it about you, man? The girls keep disappearing. I'm gonna put that girl in chains next time. <laughs> you won't have to chain her. No, you use here again. I just wanted to surprise you. It was perfectly amazing. You know, I sat there in absolute stillness. 
You never even saw me. You didn't. You looked at me twice, and you never saw me. Oh, I'm delighted at work. I, I never did it before. <laughs> no, gentlemen. No, it, it isn't madness. It's just that suddenly I feel very, very old. <clears throat> and when you get old, you know, you, you struggle about for any kind of amusement. And the longer you live, the harder it is for you to stay amused. That's one of the great, I think, pities of life. I am. Now, I've collected everything in the world. Look, look. Hey, but, but collecting things isn't enough. And playing games isn't enough. Being funny isn't enough. And even power is a pain in the ass. Now, I try to be nice and generous. And you wait anxiously for the promised land and the promised packages. And lo and behold, they arrive. And your heart begins to pound like it did when you were very young. And you very carefully unwrap the great Christmas present of the great Christmas tree. And then, well, it isn't there. It isn't there! I thought it would work because I trusted her. And you know why I trusted her? Huh? Because she has no soul. God, I gave the lady $300,000. What she brought me? She brought me some aromatic oil. <laughs> now, I'm aware that there's an energy crisis, but uh, it's a little absurd, don't you agree? Mm. Mistaken jars, mistaken people. Mistakes. Well, I tell you that all mistakes are going to end within 24 hours. Now, you'll get me the statue and the needles and bring them to this specific spot. And if you don't, you will be subtracted from this good earth. You there, if you think I exaggerate, I don't. Begins now immediately. You only have 24 hours, and when I count to 10, I want you to be out of this house and on your way. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, God. You looked at me twice, and you didn't know I was there. Well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Are they gone? Yes. No, 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 none of that. With the kind of money I'm paying you, you can talk English. It is difficult to comprehend. Why you allowed that woman to go? Even though you know she lied and betrayed you. Maybe you're right. Well, I think Dan Mason really cares for her. So if we pick her up, and Mason believes she's in danger, we may stimulate some activity. Have her followed. My men are following her. Good, good, good. Now, you gave her 300,000. Yes. Yeah. And I only asked for 250. The statue would have been yours so easily. If only you had come to Hong Kong yourself. No, 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 no. I never travel. Never. I hate it. And I don't like dealing directly like this. And all this for something might bring a smile from a lady? Oh, it's nothing as frivolous as that. It's time. <laughs> My dear fellow, I simply do not care to die. 300,000 bucks? What do you do with all your money? Well, I owed it, and I had to pay it back. She owed it. She had to pay it back. I lost it? She lost it. I'm saving it for a rainy day. Oh. Well, the last five years have been a rainy day, and this is a ticket out for me. I retire. 
Bowen gets killed. Benzi gets beat up. But you, you get a ticket out. That's beautiful. Uh, the important thing is not who's got what, but how do we get the statue? Which means, find out what Bobby sent the third jar. Yeah, right. Lady, would you mind going somewhere and disappearing? I want to talk to Jeff alone. Go on. Scram! Beat it! I want to talk to Jeff alone. Come on, Dan. Cool it. I'll wait for you. You hold your breath. Hey, listen. You better get yourself together. Because if you lose that temper of yours the way that I know you can, we're both goners. I happen to know a couple of customers who this antique thing is what it's supposed to be. We both can make a lot of money. A lot. Yeah, why not? They want it now. Let's do it. I'm Sue Lin. Where'd you come from? How'd you know who I am? You're a friend of Dan Mason. Yeah, so am I. I was going to see him. Uh, he's not here. I know. I saw him go by. But I think I can find him. Yeah. Uh, how do you happen to know Mr. Mason? In Hong Kong. I'm his employer. Uh, that's funny. So am I. Oh? Doing all right. Yeah, not bad, huh? Come on in and meet my partner, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Bobby? Hey, Bobby. Is he dead? Yeah. That's Lin To. Who's Lin To? They killed Quan. I have to call the police. Have somebody take care of Bobby. You have the address where that last joke of all was sent? Yeah, I'll get it. Somebody out front. I'll get it. We just met Lin To outside your hotel. He was about to kidnap your friend here. Dan, 
I had no idea he was in the state. I don't even know why. That's God's honest truth. Look, Witters must have bought Lynn Toe. Hmm. I know where they sent the jar, some kind of health club. years old. Soothing, isn't it? Soothing and revitalizing. What do you men want? A jug of oil. It was delivered here in the last day or so. That's her. It's empty. Well, of course. We're nearly out. It's under the stairs in the hallway. Are you two supposed to bring it in? That's it. Let's get the hell out of here. You get that bus, Chef. My dearest, you could have given 250000 to Lintow and kept $50,000 for yourself. But no, because you're too greedy. And you forced me to break an ironclad rule never to deal directly. It's very dangerous. You realize that without middlemen, the entire business structure of this world would crumble.
now. My friend Claude, he's been with me 30 years. He saved my life many times. And he has volunteered to verify this great statue. And I want to thank him publicly from the bottom of my heart. greatest acupuncturist in China. What now? What? Well? The statue is not authentic. this audience. You know, there is a saying that God forgives and men forget. And I'm feeling very godlike today. I forgive you. I want it to be a happy ending. I, I'm just hopelessly American. So let me invite all of you to return to Hong Kong if necessary. You're free to go to find the statue. And if you do, all will be forgiven. Please go. That bastard knows where it is. Keep track of him. Oh! 
and you winners took the money back, every cent. Oh, well, you're full of it. Do you think I would still be here if I had $300,000? Look, I don't want to hear it. I heard it all from you. Just one lie on top of another lie on top of another lie. I'm just trying to tell you a way to stay alive. It's yeah. all I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I just want to get my hands on that statue. I want to keep my eyes on you at all times. That's all I want. I'm hungry for all this. I'm hungry for all this Hong Kong crap food. I can't live without. You want some of this? No! I thought I told you to get smart. Huh? Just one time, but you're too damn dumb. Now, I'm telling you, just stay the hell out of here. I'm back in one piece, and so is my place. Oh, the hell with it. I'll never mount to anything anyway. Well, do you know a girl named Lotus? Hundreds of them. I know. This one was always with Quan. I mean, I know where I saw her at the funeral, but I don't know where she lives. Hmm. Is she tall for a Chinese and beautiful? Yeah. Try Kwan's boat boy at Aberdeen Harbor. May I offer you tea? No, no, thank you. Lotus, well, like I said at the cemetery, Quan asked me to take care of you, and that's what I want to do, but well, right now I need some help. Maybe, will did Quan give you anything to hide? In here. I should have destroyed it. I thought to sink it to the bottom of the harbor. And then no more people would be harmed. But it's not the object itself which is evil. Only the men who try to own it. Quan was not evil. Quan was a fine man. But he thought the statue could bring him the youth he sought. He could not understand that all I wanted was his love. He had a copy made of this statue from old photographs. Oh, Richie! Let's get out of here. There's going to be some trouble. No. You go.
已经离开码头，怎么把电脑放上？老乡，我们找个小船，绝对不能让他跑掉！快点，快点，快点，绝对不能让他跑掉！
aja mulai gue ya. How are we going to live on that? 